world's first, the Republic of Singapore Navy neutralized an underwater threat using a mine disposal system deployed from an unmanned surface vessel, or USV. According to the Republic of Singapore Navy, in a first-of-its-kind firing, a remotely controlled Venus 16 USV navigated to the identified location, launched a Caster expandable mine disposal system which closed in on the underwater threat and neutralized it. The Caster EMDS is designed by French company ECA Group. The USVs were designed by local company ST Engineering and introduced in 2017. Naval news covered those USVs and their role in autonomous mine warfare during Index Asia 2019. Here is our interview with the commander of the Republic of Singapore's Navy's 194 Squadron, recorded back in May 2019. The Republic of Singapore Navy is a very technologically advanced Navy, always one step ahead in terms of innovations. This is especially true in the field of unmanned system as it was one of the first navies in the world to field autonomous vehicles for mine warfare. I'm a Senior Lieutenant Colonel Wong Chen Tong. I'm the uh, Commanding Officer of uh, 194 Squadron. We take care of uh, both the uh, uh, mine countermeasures uh, vessel as well as uh, the unmanned uh, capability for the RSN. Now what we see behind me, actually we have uh, two variants of the uh, mine countermeasure uh, surface vessel. Um, the first variant actually carry a tow synthetic aperture sonar that actually do the uh, detection, uh, detection and classification of uh, the underwater mine. Then the second variant carries the expandable mine disposable system that will do the identification and also the neutralization of the mine. So this is the part where we actually benefit from is uh, the twofold. One is we reduce the requirement of uh, the, the manpower. Uh, when we compare to the manned platform, we need about 30 plus uh, personnel to man the craft. And then when we look at the unmanned, we only need a team of four. At one time, we only need two operators to operate the craft. And then uh, the, other, the, other, the other part of uh, the, the is actually it is a lot safer. We take the uh, man out of the uh, danger and then when we deploy this um, um, man surface vessel for both detection and neutralization, uh, it will always be uh, uh, well, uh, the human will always be uh, ashore that is away from the uh, danger. What we see on my left is actually the, uh, the expandable mine disposable system. It actually carries uh, two types of it. What we see on, on here is actually that there's two identification vehicles that can be uh, deployed, launched and then do the identification and uh, it can after that be recovered and then we will reuse it and uh, that's two so that we can actually continuously pulse out and uh, recharge the other one for, for subsequent use then once it's identified we, we uh, detect it and uh, classify it as a mine then what we see on the, the further left is actually the, the cages that actually will contain the uh, similar uh, uh, expandable mine disposal system but it actually carries a shape charge so this is the one that will actually be deployed down to neutralize the mine that has been identified. So we can see that we have uh, two identification vehicles and then we can carry up to a 12 uh, combat vehicle that will neutralize the mine. So the RSN actually started uh, exploring into the unmanned uh, system since uh, the early 2000s and uh, we actually have the uh, protector class deployed for the, uh, the reconstruction of uh, Iraq operation and then after that we subsequently moved into uh, both underwater as well as um, the, the uh, unmanned aerial vehicle and uh, Scan Eagle UAV is one of the, um, the, the vehicles that we actually uh, uh, did for the, uh, the unmanned aerial vehicle. Now we are looking at the, uh, the unmanned surface vessel so these are the things that actually bring a lot of uh, benefit to, to uh, the RSN, both in uh, making sure that we actually are able to be more efficient in uh, using uh, our manpower resources. And then also the other one is to make sure that our crew operating it is always uh, uh, safe because they will be operating at a distance from the shore. We can look at the, uh, the new MRCV program, they are actually able to carry such an unmanned surface vessel and we are looking at um, the third variant like I mentioned just now for the uh, coastal defence uh, uh, unmanned surface vessel. And this is the part that we actually want to make sure that uh, we will actually continue to uh, use the unmanned surface vessel to make sure that we are able to uh, continue to uh, be stringent and uh, efficient use of our manpower uh, resources.